This video is going to cover the auto upload feature that Zoho Books has. So Zoho Books is quite good at an allowing you to auto scan receipts so that you don't have to fill out all of the expense details from scratch. So when in books, we're in the purchases section and the expenses module. Now you're gonna, you can either add a new expense like this. So create plus new and create an expense from scratch, or you have the option to upload an expense. Now, if you don't see this upload expense uh, right here in your system, what you're first gonna do is uh, click on the receipts inbox and it's gonna ask you to enable auto scans. So just click on that and you will uh, get to this stage here. So you only have a certain number of auto scans by default, but you can always purchase more if you need any more. So now we can upload an expense. Uh, and it's going to be added into the document section here. So you can see that when you're in the document section, it's just scanning to get all of the details from the receipt. So we're just gonna allow that to uh, scan. All right, and once your, uh, your scan has uploaded and processed, click on this receipts inbox. You'll probably see that you have one in there and you can see the receipt that you uploaded uh, into the system. When it says process, that means that it's been scanned and they have the information available. So click on convert to expense. And it's going to pull up all of the expense details. What it's done is it's gone through and it's uh, found the applicable details. So read through, make sure that they have it accurate. Um, and then you're going to select which expense account this goes into, obviously. So let's say this is an advertising expense. Uh, it has the total amount, which is 154.06. Paid through would be the bank account, so that you're going to select as well. Uh, we don't have the vendor that the receipt is to currently but you can add it as a new vendor or you can select an existing one if uh, they don't have it correct. So here we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna add it as a new vendor. So we can click on that. It fills out the vendor display name and you can save that as is. And now you can select that as the vendor. It's also auto filled out the reference number and some of the notes. You can uh, fill those out as needed. And now we can save. So once we go back, exit out of this and go back into the expenses module, you can now see that that expense is recorded in the system. And when you click on it, you'll see all of the details and the receipt is already attached to that expense for you. So it's a great tool, um, I recommend utilizing it as uh, your needs fit. And hopefully this helps you navigate through that.